Stand by. The vacuum tubes are warming up. This is a special live broadcast. Right here on Georgia Radio. Welcome to Neighbor to Neighbor. It is the 19th of April. I'm Matt Jolly. Glad to be here with you. Listen, we got a big day today around the radio station, and I'm so glad that you're here with me live uh, this morning. Great weather across the uh, entire Peach State today, and it's just uh, one of those gorgeous spring days. Makes you want to get outside and go do something. Why not drive on down to Swainsboro right now? Just take an impromptu road trip. Go on down there and see today's special guest, Michael Bright, who's joining us from the Music Memories Museum, which is housed at the Main Street Market in downtown Swainsboro. Michael, good morning. Glad you're here. Good morning, neighbor. Matt Jolly, how you doing, my friend? Man, I'm doing great. I wish you'd dance more. Your dance well, videos maybe something. <laughs> your dance videos are my favorite. For folks that, that don't know what we're talking about, you you occasionally get inspired and you just you just set up a camera and you start dancing down there, either inside the museum, uh, there at Main Street Market or at Main Street Market. I think it's great. How eight thousand plus views on yeah, your last one? Yeah, I did one? a crazy. I did a crazy one the other day, and um, I just <laughs> thought, you know, there's a way to promote something different. And I put that video on there, me dancing some of my, I guess you call it dance moves, and listen, yeah, I think it hit about eighty five hundred people <laughs> yesterday as views. It's and just it's crazy. Fun. That that's why people <laughs> like it. And now, now, see, I have a challenge. I think other people, uh, other business owners, uh, should come on down there and join you once a week for a special a special dance video down there at the main street market that could be could be at least something to think about matt yeah we can get I, the whole yeah downtown to do that thing <laughs> well speaking of that uh, a lot of big events coming up there we're going to talk today about uh, the pine tree festival which is coming up uh, may 6th the 76th right. annual uh in main street market you're you're right downtown and it's kind of an unusual thing uh where you manage this market uh, in downtown Swainsboro, uh, but it's it's really not just a market. It's a, it's a gathering place, and of course, it houses the world-famous Music Memories Museum uh, there in Swainsboro. Tell us about it. Uh, well, yeah, Main Street Market Antique Mall. Uh, it's um, 12,000 square feet. We're right downtown at 215 West Main Street and um, right on Highway 80 West. And um, yes, we have over 60 different dealer booths in here. And um, so you're talking about um, filled with antiques, furniture, collectibles, home decor, farmhouse items, man cave items, just she shed items, arts, crafts, unique gifts. We have a little bit of everything here, not just for the women, but for the men too. So it's a good mixture of items in here. Over 60 different dealer booths, open six days a week, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Saturday. And as you said, we're home of the Music Memories Museum also. I you you say stuff just for men too. I I walked in there and that's where I met a very manly man by the name of Tony Bellamy. Oh, yeah, uh, Tony Bellamy, hanging good friend out of mine there. here in town. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you never his know family, who you're going to meet. You don't. His family used to own the Fifty Six Drive-In Theater here in town, and uh, yeah, he drops in every now and then. We're good friends. I bought something the last time I was down there. I was at our mutual friend uh, Miss Faye's house, and uh, she had a boot scraper uh, down there. And I said, "Boy, that's really a cool one. I'd never seen one. It looked like a, like a dachshund, like a dog." Yes. And yeah, I, I, I went that when you bought that. Yeah. yeah, I went down there, and lo and behold, boom! Right there at the Main Street Market, there it was. I had to buy it. So, and yeah, you I, never knew because he was sixty different dealer booths. I got, I've got, I get two, three so vendors coming a day changing because we're selling all the time they want to make sure the booths are filled and ready so two or three dealers coming today is always changing I, I i i promise every day you walk in you want to see something different when you walk through the store itself through the, those 60 different dealer booths well lots of collectibles pocket knives all kind of great furniture and of course uh, the hard to find stuff too you know you see different antique malls if you're a junk store uh lover like myself this is not a junk store uh, this That's is right. this is a, a <laughs> I'll, yeah, I'll we're not a flea. I, I tell everybody we're not a flea market. We're a little bit more upscale than a flea yeah. market, but it's set up something like an indoor deal with six different booths. Yeah, it's and the thing is, mall. the difference here is, you know, the dealers aren't here like you go to a flea market on a Saturday. These are a, a separate little businesses in here. They don't have to be here. They just keep it stocked, and then we uh, do all the work for them. 
And then at the end of the month, we give them their check. Uh, and um, so, you know, and right now we do have a waiting list, but if you're looking for a booth, you need to get on our waiting list because that's uh, never know when ch- uh, changes come up. Let's talk about the Music Memories Museum for just a second. This is such okay. a great idea. Uh, it's it's a personal museum that, that you have, and you, you house it there at the Main Street Market. But tell us about some of the new exhibits, because Swainsboro, for those of you that don't know, uh, really does have quite a bit of music history. That's right. Um, um, well, well, what, just to start off, you know, I was in music myself. A lot of folks, just in case you don't know out there, I was uh, starting a country music, gave my life to the Lord in 1995 and um, I decided to sing for the Lord. I'm a, you know, Southern gospel recording artist. I've had music charted all over the world. I'm actually the first Southern gospel singer ever in history to have five songs chart in the uh, top 25 at the same time over on Sunrise Radio in the United Kingdom. And two of those songs went to be number one and stayed in the charts for almost a year. I've had music chart right here in the top 40 in the U.S. also. Between 1995 and 2013, I was full-time on the road doing about 250 concerts a year. Wow. But 2013 came, and it's I just uh, felt the Lord told me it was time to take a rest. Uh, I'm originally from Charleston, South Carolina. I used to own antique malls in Charleston before I went into my music ministry. So when I got out of the music ministry, I kind of fell back into antiques. So um, being that you said that the music um, here in the history here in Swainsboro, Georgia, yes, uh, there used to be a place here called the Nancy Auditorium. It's still standing. But back in 1957, uh, country music uh, Grand Ole Opry store Webb Pierce. And Jim Denny, for the people who don't know who that is, that's Jim Denny was the manager of the Grand Ole Opry during 1957. And Webb Pierce and Jim Denny purchased the Nancy Auditorium and the local radio station here in Swainsboro. And it was in contract that if you sang on the Nancy Auditorium stage, or, or say you sang on the Grand Ole Opry stage in Nashville, you also had to sing on the Nancy Auditorium stage here in Swainsboro. So hundreds of country music and some rock and roll singers performed right here in the 50s and 60s. And um, one of the biggest things is Hank Williams Jr.'s first time ever performing from a live audience was right here in Swainsboro, Georgia, at the age of eight years old with his mother. Um, Brenda Lee's first paid performance for only $35 was right here in Swainsboro, Georgia. So there's a lot of history here. Uh, Patsy Cline, it wasn't her first performance, but she performed here at the age of 25 years old. So they had a lot of big performers in here. And as I speak of rock and roll, uh, a lot of people may know who the big bopper is, JP. He, uh, you know, sung the song Chantelle Lace. Well, he sang here in November 58, and three months later was killed on the airplane crash with Ricky Ballins and Buddy Holly, known as the day the music died. So we have so much music history here. Being that I was in the music myself, I started collecting back in the 80s, started with autographs, folks that I met personally, and some that I just enjoy listening to on the radio. And I started collecting these autographs, and now with the music, I got into deeper stuff such as um, going to these um, – uh, getting online on these charity auctions, celebrity charity auctions, uh, celebrity estate sales. And I have worked myself up to where I'm, I'm told I've got probably the largest private collection of its kind of hundreds of authentic items and clothing owned by not just country singers, but rock and roll singers, R&B singers. I meant from, uh, from items owned from Elvis Presley, Buddy Holly, Jerry Lee Lewis, Jimi Hendrix, Janis Joplin, some of your crooners like Judy Garland, Frank Sinatra, um, and then I've got the country singers, Johnny Cash, Patsy Cline, Conway Twitty, Loretta Lynn, George Jones, uh, Tammy Wynette. And um, it goes on and on. Even your new singers such as Blake Shelton, Taylor Swift, Keith Urban, Jason Aldean. I can go on and on, but you will find something in here. And I'm always getting something new, uh, always purchasing. As a matter of fact, I just got just this week past my newest piece was a, uh, a, a shirt that was custom by Nudie Cohen for Marty Stewart. And I've got one of his shirts. And um, a lot of people, for just to let them know, Nudie Cohen, people want to know who he is. If you remember, that was Presley on that one of his albums, that gold, shiny album uh, right. suit, that jacket. Well, he, oh, yeah. He's the one who tailored that, and he tailored a lot, a lot of, uh, you know, clothing for a lot of uh, singers, especially Porter Wagner. You might remember Porter Wagner and Rhinestone Suits. That was Nudie Cohen. So I have probably about... 35, 40 pieces of Nudie Cohen's items in here that he's from, such as, uh, this is off the top of my head, uh, I just said Marty Stewart, but I got Tammy Wynette, Dolly Parton, Merle Haggard. Um, what about that John, hat from, uh, John, was that Johnny Lee, I think, wasn't it? Johnny Lee's hat just got yeah. in. It's a Nudie hat. Uh, Johnny Paycheck's vest 
There's a nudie. I just got Jerry Reed and uh, Matt Davis. It's nudie. Uh, that's how I even got a, a famous black, a black shirt from Johnny Cash, which is nudie. So uh, um, I think just got Gene Watson in. Toby Keith just came in. John Anderson. Uh, they all are nudie shirts, too. That was custom tailored for them. So I think I got Glenn Campbell over there. John Denver. That's a nudie. So it goes on and on, my man. And, I've, I've, and, and the thing is, it's all free admission. I don't charge nobody to come in and look at this. Uh, so it's here again with the mall, six days a week, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Saturday. You even have Johnny Cash's old, uh, I guess it was his soundboard that he had for his we, monitors. We do. We have a key, but the, his soundboard that he used on stage through his concert tour that he purchased. And uh, and um, he, he traveled with it for a while. What it was, it was one of his uh, uh, keyboard, I mean, yeah, his keyboard player. Uh, Ball is his last name. Think, think, but anyway, he bought this spe- this key uh, this uh, mixing board especially so um, it had Johnny's voice going in one, the keyboard going into the next uh, mic, and it would come out at the monitor near the keyboard, so the keyboard player can hear Johnny's voice better. So, and this is actually the actual keyboard that I I, mean, I say keyboard the uh, mixing board that he used in the his tour and I have that and uh and people say how you get hold of this stuff well it, there's charity auctions there's estate sales out there uh, I deal with some uh, big folks out there uh, there's a group a place out there called Rockology and um Stephen Schultz a good friend of mine he uh, I bought uh, purchased a lot of items from him uh you've got some other auction companies out there too that's out there so um that's where I get a lot of this from online and um you know and everything I have is backed up and um one of the neatest things I have I got just matter of fact uh, it was just a year ago March a year ago a man walked in here and said hey I've had something sitting in my storage for five years I didn't know what I was going to do with it but the Lord just spoke to me and told me to give you the opportunity to purchase it and it's a 1999 Harley Davidson motorcycle once owned by Greg Allman of the Allman Brothers yeah it's really and you cool. will see that in here also. So we've got some neat things. I think your your wife is is so thrilled that you're able to house everything down there at the Music Memories Museum. Because <laughs> yeah, not, <laughs> not having it at the house. That's you know, right. I, I don't know what it now, would I gotta be still like, talk Michael. to her. I'm trying to get her down to where the money part, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. I, I, I tell well, I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't hunt. So, you know, hey, I mean, at least, you know, once you do all that stuff, you can't get that money back. But here, at least I can get my money back out of it later. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you could have a heck of a, a heck of a thrift store down there yeah. uh, to the stars. I mean, they, they yeah, might yeah. even well, want to I've come back many people. It. Yeah, a lot of folks want to know if I was selling any items. And I've had some people who's offered me money, top money. But with a motorcycle alone, I've already been offered triple for that. There's a, a guy on Sturgis uh, mm. uh, who wants to buy this thing to put in his bar but because uh, he's got some other celebrity motorcycles there. But I want to hold on to everything right now. Unless someone walks in here and wants to give me a, a price for every bit of it, then, you know, I'll be gone and I'll be retired. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Well, That's the only way I probably would get rid of it. I have to go all at one time, not piece it out. So, well, speaking of, uh, speaking of big money. You can save some big money if you come on down to the Main Street Market because uh, there is a sale going on. It's the Yellow Sign Sale. That's and, right. And there, there are some really, really good deals to be had right now uh, down there at uh, the Main Street Market. Talk about how this works because uh, it's something that goes on, but there, there's an awful lot of stuff right now. It's tax right. season. People have money to, to spend right now, and, and you're going to, uh, to make that money go a little bit further uh, this week down at the Main Street Market. Talk about that, Michael. Yeah, well, when you walk through Main Street Market and you walk through the aisles and the booths, uh, you'll see a yellow sale sign in most of the booths, and that yellow sign will show a percentage of a sale. And uh, whatever that percentage is, which right now we have some running from 10%, 20 40 and there's even one booth in here right now, 50% off. And wow. that comes off the lowest ticket price. And um, and sometimes, we, you know, they say, well, 50% off, what are they doing, moving out? No, they're just moving some of their items out to try to get new fresh items in. So you, there's always some sales going on like that. And you, when you walk in, you look for that yellow sale sign, and it would be deducted off the lowest price when you check out at the computer. And you don't have to remember, like, well, this come out so booth over there at 50% or 10%. You don't have to remember it. The computer we have here, we've got a great program here that remembers all that when you check out. I think it's just wonderful. Go on down and see them there at the Main Street Market in downtown Swainsboro, home of the world-famous Music Memories Museum. And, of course, Southern Gospel recording artist Michael Bright down there every day, signing autographs, kissing babies, 
and uh, and dancing. I really, I'm telling you, the dancing, Michael. I I think you could. I think you've got something there. I I really do. It's fun. It gets people uh, excited about uh, about meeting you, and it and it just puts a smile on everybody's face who sees it. Uh, well, that's so. what we try to do down here. We want everyone to have a fun, enjoyable shopping experience. And uh, and if you want to know, I know you, we're on radio, you can't see, go to Facebook slash Main Street Market Swainsboro. That's Facebook slash Main Street Market Swainsboro. Thousands of photos on there. I post items on there every single day showing the new items coming in. We keep people updated on things such as the Pine Tree Festival coming up on um, May 6th. So, um, Go there, and for the music page, it's the same thing, Facebook slash Music Memories Museum. Or you got the website, www.musicmemoriesmuseum.com. Same with the uh, Main Street Market, Facebook slash Main Street Market Swainsboro or MainStreetMarketSwainsboro.com. But you'll see more on our Facebook page. So um, love for y'all to join it, like it. We actually have over 10,000 people who follow us on our Facebook page. That's just incredible. Well, Michael Bright, thanks for coming on today. We thank you, Matt, for what you do, my man, and I appreciate all you do out there. You really do, and enjoy listening to you. And um, and I love the music you play because that's that good old country music, not the new type. And I'm into that good old country music classics. Amen. Thanks again, <laughs> Michael. Talk thank to you, you real Have soon. a blessed day, and God bless you. Same to you. So long. I know you can hear me, and so can your customers. Lots of people don't take kids seriously. Well, listen up. Advertising on Georgia Radio is seriously easy and affordable. Visit georgiaradio.com slash advertise or, better yet, call the station. So let's talk. Your customers are listening and so is my mom. Hi, Mom. Hi, this is Wade Peoples from Georgia Folk and Farm Life Radio. I'm here to tell you about Meeks Brothers Cattle Company. And you don't have to worry about supply chain issues or where your beef comes from. Do what I do and call Meeks Brothers Cattle Company today. You can get a whole, half, a quarter, any amount of beef you want. Good quality beef. Back in pack, lasts up to three years in your freezer. It's grass-fed, grain-finished, made to order. Visit Meeks Brothers Cattle Company on Facebook today and tell them Brother Wade sent you. And that's Meeks Brothers Cattle Company. Thank you. Georgia Radio. Good company and great country. Enjoy the country music. And welcome back here to Neighbor to Neighbor. My thanks to Michael Bright for coming on today from the Main Street Market in downtown Swainsboro. Go down there and see him and ask him about that uh, that yellow sign sale they have going on. And then also, uh, we didn't get a whole lot in on this. We're going to circle back. But we just got busy talking. Uh, Go down there and find out about the May 6th Pine Tree Festival. It's the 76th annual, uh, we think. Uh, But it's credited as being the longest continuously running festival in the great state of Georgia. We either have his voicemail or we have the man himself, Brother Wade Peebles, stopping by. Uh, Wade, how you doing today, if this is you? Yeah, it, it is me purported to be me. Well... I know you've All been. Uh, it is. You've been uh, really struggling with your voice here lately, and uh, you've had yep. to come off tour. You had to stop singing. Yep. 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 All of the above. But uh, all kidding aside, though, uh, we're praying for you. And you had some news, and I just I, I didn't know if you were up to coming on and just telling everybody what's going on. So, because uh, there's a lot of people that are really concerned about you. Yeah. Well, I was uh, had an appointment yesterday with the. Uh, a vascular surgeon, and he had looked at. I've got a spur on a vertebra in my neck that's caused an artery in my neck to be twisted and looped around and pressing on my larynx and trachea. So, been <clears throat> went to doctors, doctors about it, but he, the vascular surgeon yesterday told me that he would, it would have to have surgery, and then he had uh, get a cardiovascular surgeon to in on it. And so, I next thing is to go see the cardiovascular surgeon. Well, that uh, that that all sounds um, serious, but it says uh, I guess the, the doctor did give you some indication that it a it is operable, and it is something that they can fix. Mm-hmm. Well, what he pra- said, praise God, and it's not uh, it's not the cancers, it's not no. the uh, 
I yeah. was afraid of that when I first started having the trouble with my throat. I thought it might be, but of course, with me, it's something nobody ever heard of. I've yeah. never heard anybody having this, and the, right. you know, so anyway, it's it's not the dysentery. It's not no, uh, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't the cholera morbus or the dysentery or the ague or the <laughs> <laughs> consumption. <laughs> 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 All the other horrible things it could be. Those are hard. If you yeah. ever read the old medicine bottle, mm. they they this is some things like the green sickness. Yeah, and like I say, cholera morbus, and I was like, oh, that just sounds bad, you know. Well, I'm just glad you're able to write a little bit more. I think if we had, if I could get a bottle of Hadicol, I might be, you know, might not even need surgery. But you know, well, if anybody got an old bottle of Hadicol out there, uh, yeah, send it over send your it way. For me. That's right. All right. Well, if you, and if <laughs> we'll we'll keep you we'll keep you in our prayers. And, and all kidding aside, uh, we need people uh, on Georgia Folk and Farm Life, especially who are listening to this and who feel compelled to uh, to to be praying for you. And of course, as I've told you countless times, uh, you're a real treasure to not only the state but to each and every one of us. Your writings uh, are just so true and so uh, genuine about the state uh, that we all call home. And I, I really, I really believe this when I say it, that, that you are a, uh, uh, a national treasure to the whole United States of Georgia. So, well, thank you. <laughs> you are, yes. we got to keep yeah. you around. I mean, uh, I'm going to do my best to, to help that with that uh, objective right there. That's uh, yeah. Well, amen. And I'm, I'm glad that that doctor was able to figure it out. You'll be back on He's the air Texas, here. Too. He's from your old, old state. Well, see, he smartened up, you know, I, I just really, I I told, we were talking about this the other day, uh, not you and me, but, uh, some other friends. And I said, well, you know, when God shows you where to go, you got to get there as quick as you can. That's right. And, uh, being back home, uh, for two and a half weeks, I, I, you know, you, you cannot argue with the Lord and you just have to go where he calls you and go where he, where he, where he puts you. And I'm, I'm glad to be home. I'll tell you what, I'm glad to be back here. And glad to be home. Uh, listen, Wade, uh, you'll be back on the air at any point uh, when, you're, when your throat recovers. Um, yeah. And, and I don't want the folks to go away. Tuesday night, it's your night. And, uh, we'll, you know, if you have a good night and you feel like coming on, we've already talked about it, you'll be on. That's right. Uh, but just be, you know, just kind of be on the lookout. If you're not already on the app, uh, on the My Georgia Radio app, if you sign on there, we will send out a blast uh, before uh, Wade comes on on a Tuesday night, and it just it it just pops right up on your phone. It says, "Hey, Wade's going to be on tonight." Uh, yeah, so I'll make like sure that. you allow those notifications yeah. to come through. Uh, we do that only when we have a special live event, and I just realized I didn't do it this morning for this show. Wow! <laughs> so, you know, yeah. What can I say? <laughs> I go I'm ahead impressed. though. When I remember, I'll I'll do it. But I'm but I'm not. The point is, we're not going to like you know, we're not spamming people with all this crazy right. stuff on there. We're not going to do that. If it if you get a notification from us, it's because it's something you're going to want. So sign up for those. All right, Wade. Well, I hope you feel better, and uh, I thanks for coming on and giving people some uh, some some insight uh, because uh, whether you want to be or not, you and Conway are, are big time celebrities. And we're making the best of it. We enjoy it. He was just telling me this morning, he, you know, that he, you know, enjoying his uh, fame and celebrity. He, uh, yeah. That, <laughs> if those darn cats would just <laughs> if, understand how important he cat, is. Yes, yes. That, that, I think that's one reason he he doesn't have respect for cats because they don't honor him for being right. where he's at in, in the media presence he has. So, yeah. you know, I can understand. Well, you Dang have cats. about as large of audience as the Atlanta Journal Constitution, I think. Yep. And I'm not. I'm not exact. People, I tell people nope. that, and they look at me like I'm crazy. And I said, No, no, no. Mm-hmm. I, you don't understand the power that this log truck driver wields with not only his horn but his hand. So, get out there. You're still driving. You're on the road every day. Oh, you yeah. just can't talk. I'm so, sitting in the woods right now. They almost got me loaded. In fact, you might hear. Well, the man Randy Morgan say, uh, "All right, Mister Wade, that's you." And yeah, you. and off you'll that's go. A, off I'll go. All right, brother Wade, hang in there, and we'll talk real soon. I miss your laugh. I look forward to hearing it come roaring over the radio again, and uh, we'll be praying for you and Ms. Ruth and everybody else uh, that needs it. Right we'll now. do it. All right, brother Wade, take Thanks, care of yourself. Matt. All, right. All right, thank you. Bye.
Well, we're going to wrap it up here this morning. My thanks again to uh, to Michael Bright for coming on. My thanks to Brother Wade for coming on and giving us that update. Again, if you can, get on down there to the Music Memories Museum in downtown Swainsboro. It's housed inside the Main Street Market. Uh, go down there and dance with Michael Bright, make a video, see all of the great displays, and, of course, the great vendors that are in there and be looking for those yellow sign tags for the big sale that's going on. I'll talk to you uh, later tonight. We've got the rebroadcast of Classic Country and Request. It runs again, uh, not just on Mondays when it comes on for the first time, 7 to 9, but it also reruns on Wednesday and Friday evenings, 7 to 9 as well. And every once in a while, I'll slide in a new request. So no matter when you're hearing this, if there's something you want to hear and you're listening on the app, which is, honest to God, it's the best way to listen to the radio station, the My Georgia Radio app. It's free to download. You can download it right off of our website. There's a link uh, that goes to the iPhone store or to the uh, the Google Uh, Android store and you can just download it right there it's free it's super 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 easy and it's incredibly powerful there's uh, well there's a weather program on there that uh, that you can that you can use our news feed is on there just a whole lot of stuff on that app incredibly incredibly powerful but one of the coolest features is way down there at the bottom there's a microphone button if you just mash that microphone button You can send your own recorded message to the radio station and be on the show. So make all of our days and send us something. Tell us where you're listening. Tell us what you want to hear, whatever it might be. We'll talk to you next time here on Neighbor to Neighbor. It's every Wednesday morning at 10 a.m. And, of course, uh, on Classic Country and Request, uh, the show that I host Monday, Wednesday, and Friday evenings in the rebroadcast from 7 to 9. Also, uh, Thursday nights, don't forget, 7 to 9. It is Knee Deep in Bluegrass. Repeats again on Saturday morning with Knee Deep in Bluegrass Gospel Edition. I'll be sure to show Cindy Balkum some love and tune in. Thanks again for being here. Newsletter's coming out at 2 o'clock today. So long for now, everybody. Georgia Radio. Good company and great country.